Hidden inside some meteorites are time capsules from the birth of the sun. I have some of those here, so let's take a closer look. When you're looking at certain meteorites, you might spot bright white, gray, irregular shapes. These are calcium aluminum rich inclusions, or CAIs for short, and they're some of the oldest solid materials in our entire solar system. CAIs formed over 4.5 billion years ago, right after the sun was born. In the hot, turbulent disk of gas and dust that surrounded it, minerals like calcium and aluminum condensed out first because they can withstand very, very high temperatures. They later clumped together into inclusions that got locked into the meteorites that fell to Earth and that we find today. So why are CIIs important? Well, they're one of the most tangible things we have to help us understand the earliest moments of our solar nebula. Minerals and metals change and take different forms over time, but by becoming trapped inside other materials, these CIIs were preserved as though they were buried in a time capsule for a really long time. By studying their isotopes, the different forms of elements present, scientists can learn about the timing of solar system formation and even the first events that happened around the sun. It helps us sequence the formation of everything around us, and I think that's really fascinating. So how do you spot CIIs if you're looking at a meteorite? Well, in most meteorites, CIIs show up as light-colored patches or nodules that stand out against a darker chondritic background. Sometimes they're round, other times very irregular, almost like chalky islands inside the rock. As you might imagine, you're much more likely to find these inside cut meteorites than visible on a meteorite's exterior. You'll most often find CAIs in carbonaceous chondrites, especially CB3 meteorites like the Allende meteorite that fell in Mexico. Allende is famous for its big, obvious CAIs, and in fact, many of the early studies of CAIs were done on this meteorite but they also occur uh, other types of primitive meteorites in smaller amounts. And I've even shown you a few of those meteorites on my channel, uh, some that have CIALs already, although you may not have recognized their unique value at the time. Next time you see those bright white spots in a meteorite, remember, you're looking at the very first solids our solar system ever made. They've been around longer than the planet you're standing on, and they traveled a long, long way to be here. Want to learn more about space rocks? Make sure to give me a follow, and while you're at it, share the video with a friend or an enemy. They'll be jealous you discovered my channel first.